The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends at least one school nurse for every school. But that's a standard many districts are failing to meet, causing what many are calling a countrywide crisis. We have Orko Mana joining us live this morning with what we're seeing here in Southern Nevada. Orko. Good morning, John. A spokesperson with CCSD tells me that they work to hire school nurses year round because of that national shortage. Right now, there are six vacancies when it comes to school nurses within the district. Now, that spokesperson also tells me that school nurses with the district assist students in two to three sites depending on needs. In addition to the 192 school nurses CCSD has right now, each school has a first aid safety assistant, and there are an additional 22 of those assistants district wide. The National Association of School Nurses says a quarter of schools in the U.S. do not have a school nurse at all. We sat down with a local elementary school nurse and UNLV master's student. She says it's disheartening to hear about a shortage given how crucial their role is now more than ever. Our job is so valuable, so I agree with the evidence that's out there that, you know, one nurse to every 750 students, if possible, would be the best just because we are able to provide education and training for staff and help respond in situations that, that needs a medical professional. Right now, there are no federal laws regulating school nurse staffing, but that could soon change. A bill called the Nurse Act will be reintroduced in Washington next month, and that would, prov that would provide grants to schools to hire more nurses. Reporting live, Orko Mana, 8 News Now. Orko, thank you.